Vision Pro, the long-awaited Apple Mixed Reality headset for $3,499. And we were thinking of buying glasses for everyone. Now only my boyfriend will be watching football. Well, that's how it goes. Hello, everyone. Do you love new gadgets? I love them too, which is why we're here on the Tech Talk and Beauty channel. We have interesting gadget and technology news here. Give us a thumbs up, we'll appreciate it. If you need subtitles, feel free to use them. My name is Luna. Let's talk about the recently introduced Apple Vision Pro headset. After many years of delays, Apple has finally unveiled its augmented reality headset, the Apple Vision Pro, which seamlessly combines the real and digital worlds. Rumors suggest that the headset will have a separate battery and can be controlled using eye, hand, and voice commands. The device will start at $3,499 and will be available in the US in early 2024, with a rollout to other countries throughout the year. Vision Pro is positioned as an AR device, but it can switch between augmented and fully virtual reality. The headset doesn't have controllers, and navigating through the icon rows in the operating system called Vision OS can be done using eye movements or voice commands. The device supports Bluetooth accessories, including the Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad, and allows for connection to Mac computers. Downward-facing cameras will track the movements of your hands. The headset features a glass front and an aluminum frame containing 5 sensors, 12 cameras, a 4K display for each eye, and a fan-cooled computer. The headset's mask, referred to as, Light Seal, by Apple, and the, Headband, have modular fabric padding and can flex to accommodate different face shapes and head sizes. Zeiss, the company, has developed individual optical inserts that magnetically attach to the lens of the prescription glasses. The device has an external battery that lasts up to two hours and can be connected using a flexible woven cable. Additionally, the headset can be connected to an external power source for all-day use. Apple promises an unprecedentedly clear display for the glasses and the ability to play 4K videos. The system utilizes both M2 and R1 chips. Apple assures users that they won't be isolated from their surroundings. The headset will display eyes using a system called EyeSight, but during full virtual reality mode, a special screen will cover them. There is also the possibility of creating a digital persona, a hyper-realistic avatar, by scanning one's face. During remote conversations, the spatial audio function can be used to position FaceTime participants as video tiles around the room. Additionally, the headset allows for capturing and viewing 180-degree videos using a 3D camera. Apple also promotes television and arcade content on the headset, including premium content from Disney. The headset has been in development for years and reportedly went through several iterations and years of delays. Its main competitor is likely to be Meta, which has had relative success with its gaming-oriented Quest 2 headset but received mixed reviews for its Quest Pro. What else can I add? I have mixed feelings about the new device. No, I have no doubt that it will be popular because it's an Apple product. But the price raises the initial question. If you wanted to buy it for the whole family, most likely only dad will end up buying it. The design of the device. This headset resembles diving goggles. It will be interesting to learn more about its business capabilities and more. Overall, I understand that futuristic movies of the past always had goggles, but is this really the future of gadgets? I'm eagerly awaiting your comments. Let's discuss what's what, what you like, what you don't. My name is Luna. I've tried my best for you, and I deserve likes and subscriptions. I love you with every cell of my body. See you tomorrow.